Can we get started here? I am not a content creator. Hey there, Cavagarians. Imagine looking straight at... Oh, this might be good. Hey there, Cavagarians. Content creation is hard. Doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means it'll take time and effort to perfect. Like, like an art form. <laughs> this is gonna take a while, isn't it? It is an art form though, seriously. Like, I really, I'm literally reading a script and this stuff is like so hard to do. The next line in my script, as you can see, I'm nowhere near perfect at this either. I've created a few videos over the past several years like 2018 something like that don't go to sleep lot. but what it takes to make a single video is truly hard or as it says here in my script truly a lot of work to explain let's move over to my living room right over there i'll see you in a sec maybe i should just keep all the videos of me like arguing with my dog while I'm like trying to uh while I'm trying to figure out like framing and stuff like that all the non-essential tools that I literally have no idea to, how to do maybe I should keep those and like add them in as b-roll or like bloopers or something the first line in my script says have you ever made a YouTube video before I added the word before because we don't have to go by the script now do we um on the surface, it can look quite easy, but the process is quite lengthy. You have the essentials of filmmaking, right? So you have to record the video, you have to edit it, and then in the case of YouTube, you would have to upload it, right? But like, there's a lot more to it than just that. You have, in the filming alone, I've been practicing lighting for like hours now. I can't get it down. It is what it is. Like thing that holds my light up, it literally, it literally broke. This is it. It doesn't work anymore. So one of my lights is just here on my coffee table. And there goes my audio again. It just like hold it. So you have all the essentials. Editing is a whole entire art set in itself. What if you wanted to take this to the next level, right? And be like a YouTube all-star. You would have to watch like all the content creation in your niche that you chose. Don't even get me on started finding a niche. Holy, like that would be absolutely wild. But not only would you have to find a niche, you would have to do niche research, do keyword research to see what's popular. YouTube is already so saturated with basically every niche, every niche fool that the time investment needed to find a new niche to grow in would be hard. And it's absolutely true. Like finding a new niche to grow in is absolutely hard because they're already all full. And never mind making content for something you actually care about, right? For me, I want to make video games. Right? I do want to make video games. I want to make content about video games. Everyone and their brother's mother is just like on top of that stuff. Sorry, I had to get up. My laptop was uh, going into sleep mode and it literally has my script on it. I'm reading from far away. This stuff is kind of difficult, even though I have it really, really big on my... Also, my script, let's say you do find a niche. You'd have to frame your video in such a, a specific way that like, pleases the YouTube algorithm while you're still trying to talk to humans. How is one supposed to do that? Like, YouTube algorithm is a fucking machine, code on a computer. But you're making videos for humans, but you really can't do that because you have to feed into this machine. What? What is going on here? Uh, let's see, what else does my script say? As you can see, making videos takes a lot of technical skills and a lot of non-technical skills to properly work behind the scenes. Uh, it's truly an undertaking, not to mention the long-term effects on your mental health, for both success and failure. I say failure because no one truly fails on YouTube. Either one of two things happens. Either people simply give up or they just move on with their life. No one really fails on YouTube. But what happens when you do win, when you do get the algorithm, you do get the crowd, you do get the following, you, you make a living, right? What happens? Well, not only do you risk creative burnout, but you always have a gr small group of people who will not like your content and they will very much make that known to you. Trust me, I see it all the time when I watch YouTube videos about Twitter because I don't have a Twitter account. 
Let me make sure I'm still recording. Oh, we are in business. It could get like even worse. Like what if like another popular YouTube like calls you out and starts hating on you? I've seen stuff like that on YouTube too. And I, me personally, could not handle it. I have someone with 5 million subscribers calling me a fucking piece of shit. Uh, I I couldn't withstand a f that future. Just can't. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, time to scroll to the other part of my script. I keep on hitting the mute button. The other part of my script that says, I am not a content creator for a reason. I choose not to be a content creator because I am not creative. I am just a normal, everyday person just like you. Of course, it would sound like a dream life. And it absolutely would. Who wouldn't want to get paid to make videos what is wrong with the life we have right now the life you have right now we we're just humans we're living like right now i'm sitting alone in my apartment with my dog she's she's finally relaxing but like what about like having normal goals right well not normal i mean being a content creator is a normal goal but like a classic american dream uh, you know having kids buying a house you know working your nine to five What's wrong with that? There's literally nothing wrong with that. Cherish what you have now. My point here is don't risk yourself financially and mentally or otherwise just for something that may or may not happen. Enjoy the life you created for yourself the way it is now. Like that's what I've been doing. You know, try another new hobby like, I don't know, playing a new video game, reading a book. For me, it's been bouldering. I've been trying a lot of bouldering here lately. It's indoor rock climbing. I love it. It's great. You should 1000% give it a go. The world is at your fingertips. That's the last line in that part of the script. Let's uh, move on to the next one. Okay, yeah, so this last part of the script requires like a scene change, so I'm gonna go back to the other side of my apartment and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back for the final part of this video. So, the ending of my video here. So the last part of my script here reads, I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer, and I really, really don't. If you wanna be a content creator, please go go do it, fulfill your dreams. Um, Watch that super inspirational YouTube video by Casey Neistat called uh, Do What You Can't, I believe. I'm just going off the top of my head. Obviously, like when I edit this and put it together, I'll add it somewhere here in the description or somewhere. It will it'll be somewhere and I will look for it. But it's a very inspirational video. It came out a long time ago, but it was a very good video. I kind of think about it all the time. But if 100% be a content creator, and you know you could do just do it like i'm doing and some people are sorry it's kind of like a trend within itself it's like making videos without doing the algorithm research or niche research you're just recording being your genuine authentic self editing it and just uploading it and that's perfectly great but for the people who have thought about it and maybe like regretted not starting or maybe tried it like in a certain position i'm in who doesn't necessarily enjoy it um, and maybe are forced to do it for finan better financial options or whatever the case may be. Like, just don't don't feel guilty that you're not doing it, right? That's like the message here. Enjoy the life you have now because I'm sure it's great. Like, it is awesome. Just like me. I'm living in my one-bedroom apartment. I got a full-time job. I have my dog. Like... <laughs> There's, there's no reason not to enjoy the life you have now. So it's kind of my message here. Um, I'm, I'm just recording this and I don't even know if I'm going to add B-roll. I'm just here talking to my camera, like setting up my iPhone. I'm not even going to do any algorithm research. I'm probably not going to make a great thumbnail for this. I just, if the YouTube algorithm, if you find this video, just know that maybe content creation isn't for you and that's perfectly fine. We all need to do different things in this life. Let's see what else does my script say. So basically, if you made it this far in the video, which is like literally the end, uh, I got a few surprises for you. So say I, I got three, maybe four, depending on how you count. Uh, anyways, one, first and foremost, I would very much like to thank you for 
clicking on my video, watching it, coming through all the way to the end. Um, you know, of course, if you like this content, go ahead and give it a like. If you hated it, dislike it too. Like, no shame in that. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, you can. I don't know if I'm going to make videos in the future. Um, it solely does not depend on the success of this video, oddly enough. It kind of just depends on how motivated I am. Um, at this point, I'm... I'm seemingly very motivated, so I probably will make another video or several videos. So, of course, subscribe if, you know, that's a thing you want to do. No pressure. Also, secondly, for the next 30 days from the day I upload this video, I will make every video I have ever made in my entire life public here on YouTube. And boy, I... I don't know what this, well, we'll see. Holy, because what if this video is successful? Good Jesus Christ, like, <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do here? Uh, but I'll make it available for the next 30 days. Every fucking video I've ever made, I'm just gonna click public on all of them. I don't, I don't even care if they're edited. So yeah, and then one final surprise for the super dedicated people here. The first person to send me a DM on Discord will get a $20 Amazon gift card. You don't even have to like, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to comment, you don't have to do none of that stuff. Just the first person to make it to the end of the video and DM me on Discord, $20 Amazon gift card, just for being that dedicated. Um, so yeah, content creation doesn't have to be that.